Well, uh, welcome back to the channel. Back out on the cod hunt again. Um, fishing the same spot again. Uh, managed to get in my uh, lucky corner. About an, an hour to high tide now. I'm gonna fish all the way down to low water tonight. Uh, it's on this uh, neap tide, 7.7 7 .7 meter high. So it's fishable on the ebb. There will be a little bit of pull, but uh, it won't be massive. Fishing two rods, uh, use your rigs, I'll show you them uh, in a bit uh, when I'm rebaiting. Uh, bait wise, it's got a squid and a black look. It's a uh, south southwest of the wind, which is behind us, nicely sheltered. Uh, it's gonna drop to minus one later on. So, I'll show you quickly. Still got a frost on the floor. Nice till night. There is a about 14 mile an hour wind, but it's behind us. So we nicely sheltered in, getting bite on the right hand side rod there. That's got a straight look wrap there. Looks like a white in bite there. So fish in the corner finally. Uh, got a good few anglers here today. Um, couldn't get get here early on. Uh, I've been on night shift and uh, got a few hours sleep and uh, headed over. Um, low tide just after 11 o'clock tonight currently about 4 o'clock now so high tide 20 to 5 hopefully get a big one tonight guys good conditions for it not a massive tide I do like to fish a over 8 meter tide when there's a nice, a nice little run it seems to fish, uh, bring the fish in but uh, there are some cuts coming out. Uh, a couple of guys on, on this corner just left. Uh, they had a couple of uh, keeper size cod then. And a uh, few more fishing to my left. Uh, if they had a couple of nice cod. So looking good. But um, I usually fish the flood here. But um, last session, Alex was fishing here on this corner. So he had a couple of nice uh, cod in over low water. So that's the plan. Fingers crossed, guys. Uh, hopefully, get to show you a couple of nice cod. Right, this is the rig, guys. I'm using my usual cod rigs. Running ledger. Looks nice and proud there. Hook length about 50 centimeter long, and I've got a bit uh, rig tube in there. What it does just creates a bit of a boom there, so it keeps it off the rig body so it doesn't tangle. And that's a rig body there. Using a pulley bead and a snap links. It's a lot stronger this way. It's been getting bites, but looks like a biting bite. Uh, coming up to high tide. Looks like uh, snow clouds are moving in as well. Might get a snow tonight. But uh, it's dropping to minus one. I'm not sure if it'll snow like that that cold but yeah hopefully get a couple of fish out guys while I'm waiting for the bite I'm just preparing the next bait so maximizing the uh, fishing fishing time so that's ready for next cast there's no crop activity so leaving the base about half an hour Fingers crossed. And uh, Joe coming down. Uh, <laughs> some of you might uh, recognise him. 
from a uh, ship fishing uh, of uh, North Wales a talk fishing video he is coming down in an hour or so and a uh, cover coming down later with this fire with this stove so put a fire on as well so hopefully that will keep us warm tonight it's gonna be a long session again saying that fishing down to low but probably stay another hour or two depends I've got limited bait but um, power bring you some and uh, Joe bring you a couple of looks for me as well yeah see how we get on guys Well, it's tired every now and now, about 45 minutes after high tide. Just getting white in pies at the moment. But uh, last session I've had a uh, nice cod in and I've had up to high tide here. So you do get a uh, cod in on the ebbing tide here, but I prefer flooding tide to be, to be honest. And uh, it's only a neap tide today, so 7.7 .7 or 7.8 high, um, or over two, no, three meter low, something around there. Hopefully, get a couple of fish out, guys. Uh, temperatures dropped, about minus one now, so fingers getting numbed. Uh, we need cover here soon with the fire. They should be here uh, shortly, so get the fire going and uh, get coffee rolling. Get warmed up. Got a squid and a black wood wrap at the moment on both of the rods, running ledges. Hoping for that first codling. I'm pretty sure we'll get some. Uh, Cod in between us uh, later on. Just waiting that tide to run a little bit and then hopefully that will bring the fishing guys. But I do prefer fishing a bigger tide here, uh, between 8 and 9 meter and a flooding tide. But this is the only time uh, I could get out this weekend, well, it's Friday now pretty busy this weekend hopefully get into uh, a couple of coding guys if you do get back to this there we have it finally first coding of the evening guys uh, took on a look on a squid wrap caught nice in the scissors again well I'll get it on up and give you a better show there we have it guys nice little cod bin probably about 45 46 centimeters just over two pounds I reckon get in I've been here since half two it's about half seven now about three hours after high tide 
boom target achieved hopefully get some more well still one cut so far very slow on the up here and it's freezing <laughs> so cold tonight again dropped to minus two probably minus three with the wind Covers running late again. About two and a half hours to low tide. Um, I'm hoping to start a, a pick up now. We well, should start picking up now, uh, fishing. Usually uh, two hours before, start fishing here. But uh, we got a bait in the water, so we got a chance. Just need that fire on now. Joe and his mate, they didn't even get a bite yet. I've had one bite, well, I, I did have bites before, but one proper bite and a uh, nice godlin. Might change the base in a minute as well. Get a fresh frozen bait out. <laughs> Can't defrost the bait yet at the moment. It's that cold. But, uh, if you soldier on, hopefully get a couple more fish out, guys. Oh, it looks like uh, they got fire. Fire going as well. Well, it might go there for five minutes, get warm. Hopefully get back to us with the nice fish guys. Fingers crossed. Fireman's here finally. Here we go, life survivor. <laughs> yep. Finally got the fires going guys. Oh, we need uh, marshmallows now. <laughs> Cracking will stole that. Just need the fish turning up now. So slow. Well, with this way, I might encourage them. Slowest session ever on here this evening. It's just a one cut. Uh, no one cut, anything. About 20 minutes to low tide. I might give another hour uh, once the tide turns, see if that brings any uh, cut on the feet. But uh, luckily, we've got a fire going that keeps us. <laughs> keep us warm while we're waiting for a bite but uh, other than that just pretty much dead really nothing to report cycling the bait every half an hour so hard work tonight freezing yeah we give another half an hour an hour and uh, get going I think not worth it in this freezing cold weather. But um, if we do get anything, uh, get back to these guys. Not the best of session, but it's not blank. Right then, guys. Uh as you can see, I'm back in the car, just arrived home. Oh, what a slow session that was. Very hard going. Freezing cold in minus uh, 
one to maybe uh, a bit more with the wind chill but uh, we soldiered on and uh, we got the fire going so it wasn't too bad towards the end of the session but um, yeah got to the mark uh, two hours before high tide uh, dropped one fish uh, about an hour before high and uh, didn't really get much bite to be honest uh, just had a couple of white bites that was it and uh, I've had one cod, well, managed one cod in uh, about three hours after uh, high water. And uh, yeah, fished it all the way down. <laughs> and uh, an hour and a half, uh, an hour and a half uh, after low. But uh, no, unfortunately, not meant to be. Uh, it was only a small tide today. And uh, that could have been why. Uh, I do, I do uh, like fishing bigger tides on this mark. Uh, it seems to produce more fish with, it, with more tidal flow and it brings in more fishing uh, but it is what it is fishing in the end of the day it's not a blank as I was packing up and uh, Joe had a 40 centimeter codling uh, that was an hour and a half after high no sorry low <laughs> sorry I'm knackered I've uh, been up since 5 and uh, it's 20 past uh, 2 in the morning next day so it's been a long, long day for me. But uh, it is what it is. Uh, at least we got one out. Um, hope you enjoyed it, guys. Uh, I don't want to keep you uh, any longer. Um, if you have anything to say, uh, please leave it down in the comment section. I'll uh, try and get back to you so, uh, as soon as I can. Uh, if you're new to the channel, maybe consider subscribing. Uh, there will be more coding. Um, videos coming up in the near future thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one guys